Well, this is uh, outdoor, obviously outdoors. Um, at home, garden, vegetable, vegetable garden uh, experiment. So this is our fourth year living here, so I guess this is trial four uh, different gardening methods. And um, this is the bucket of weeds that I took out of just this area right here. I know there's still some weeds left in here and some pretty easy ones to take out by hand, but and that's still quite a substantial amount of weeds right there. That's not even soil. I tilled this up by hand, not by hand hand, but you know, no uh, machines were harmed in making this video. Just by, um, all I used was this uh, weed tool here, I guess is what it actually is. I use it to till up my uh, flower beds and gardens. It definitely does a number on your hands though. If these are a little bit thicker with padding, like pool noodle I think would be nice to put right here. It would really save on the um, on the hands or it might be difficult in the grip. So if you're looking for a little tip there, um, if y'all try that out, let me know how it works. But um, that's one thing I used. The other thing was just the regular um, gravel rake to turn it over some more. Um, I'm going to take that, those weeds right there, and they are not going to go to, into compost. They're going to go far, far away um, so that the seeds don't spread too much. But what I'm going to try with this uh, garden bed here is um, what my dad was telling me about on Thursday, today, Sunday. I'm going to try and do um, cardboard um, weed control as a... Um, I guess you would call it an organic gardening method. I'm um, not using any chemicals. Um, I'm really gonna put, let me get out of the wind here. I'm really gonna put the cardboard to the test. I mean, if the cardboard keeps these weeds from growing up, it really does work. That was my intended idea with this tarp over here. With this tarp, um, obviously sunlight can't get through the tarp blocks the weeds that can't grow and then I've seen people melting holes in the tarp to put the plants into but I like the idea of cardboard a lot better um, it's gonna compost and biodegrade just take the plastic tape off obviously and all the labels um, so I'm gonna try that and if that works on this and keep this keeps this weed free then that's what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna put down some, a little bit more compost on top of this. And then I'll put the cardboard down. And then I'll put some, I guess I'll put some mulch down on top of that just to add some weight so it doesn't blow away too easily. Might put down a brick or two to give it even more weight until the rain soaks it down. But that'll be in the next part of this video. All right, so a uh, unexpected um, bonus to the experiment. Of course, as you will know, that have ordered from that company there. Um, link is below, of course. Amazon. The arrow is pointing to where the video, uh, the link is. Um, the um, they pack with um, this packing paper, so I'm gonna try and add an extra layer and see if that is good or bad. I don't think it has any dyes in. It. I mean, it's still brown, so. Only problem is it's kind of a pain in the butt to unravel and then keep the wind from blowing. So, as you see, it's not a very strong breeze right now, but anyways, I'm gonna add the cardboard now. All right, so there's the cardboard mostly complete. As you see, there's a small area right over there that needs to be filled in, and a, I guess the corner right there needs to be filled in, but um, I'll fit in with that box right there. Um, once again, thanks to Amazon Prime now and this airplane flying over right now. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, there it is. Uh, right, right there. So, um, almost done with the cardboard. I'm going to um, take a part of this box, prepare it, take the tape off, stickers off, fill it in. And uh, as you see, I added a, a tool to cut it 
precisely on the edge right there just to make it um, not overhang by like three feet. So, all right, I'll show you the next step after this.